Welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome to part 19 of my 100% walkthrough for Elden Ring. I'll show you on the map where we're starting, right where we left things off at the end of part 18 here at Castle Morn Rampart. I have no idea how to say some of these things as usual. Now, the plan, I did explain it at the end of the last video, but for those of you who missed the end or weren't listening or weren't watching at all, we are going to take on Castle Morn. That's the castle all the way down here at the very south of the map. And there's a boss fight at the very end. And right at the start, there's a big, 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 scary looking dude firing giant arrows from a giant bow at us. We're going to go take him out, but before we do on the way, we're going to grab a few handy little pickups as well. So that's basically the plan for the video. Uh, now, in an earlier video, we already got this stuff off this guy, didn't we? I just, I just always like checking what they've got. I don't know if any patches or anything. Nah, we don't. Uh, nah. Nah, we're good. We're good. Oh, hey, hey, future Oz here. We do want to buy a cracked pot. Make sure you buy a cracked pot. We may use that later. You should have two cracked pots now. Yeah, it says they're two held. So make sure you buy a cracked pot before continuing on. Back to you, Oz. We're good. We're good. We don't need your stuff. All right. We are going to get on our horse. And if we go through this uh, big, big hole in this wall... And we head straight ahead. The giant archer. I don't think we can see him here. Yeah, I don't think you can see him. The giant archer is basically guarding that castle that we can see in the distance. He's going to start firing at us if we go straight ahead. So what we're going to do is sneak around to our left-hand side. And the reason we're going left, I believe it's easier if you go from the right-hand side. But the reason we're going left is there's something over here that we want to grab. And hopefully... The other thing about the big guy, once you kill him, he doesn't respawn. See, he's seen me already. He doesn't respawn, so he's hard to actually practice this part. Uh, anyway, what we want is this guy here. So I'm going to get nice and close to this guy, and I'm going to give a... Wait a minute. Did he literally disappear? Did you guys see that? All right, let's quickly get him with some pebbles. How did he do that? All right, as long as you take him out, he like teleported or something. That, I've never seen that happen ever before, but make sure you get him. Now, if something bad happens and he disappears on you, which I don't know if we've actually explained that those um, dung beetle guys can disappear on you. All you want to do if he disappears is go into your menu, go to system and go across to quit game, quit game, which will perform a save and then load back in and the uh, bald thing image, the dung beetle, will reappear for you. So do that if you get stuck. Uh, and the thing that we just got off him, I'm hiding in the bush to try and avoid the giant arrow. I don't think hiding in a bush really, really helps. But anyway, uh, what did we just get? We got an incantation. I want to go over that. It was the poison mist. We can't use it right now. We don't have 12 faith. Not that I really care much for poison against enemies. It really doesn't do enough. does enough if we get poisoned. I don't want to get poisoned myself, but poisoning enemies doesn't seem to do a lot. Uh, okay, back on our horse. And in fact, I want to put my uh, staff in my right hand for a second. Because over here, there's usually a bear roaming around. And we're going to get some magic glint blade ready for him. Where is he? Where is he? Is he a bit more over this way, maybe? There he is. All right, we'll give him a couple. Oh, pick up the, pick up the root resin. Give the bear a couple of magic glint blades. Ah, uh, wrong button. Come on, Captain Fumblefingers, you can do it. Let's say three, I reckon. One, two, and the third one missed, so we'll give him another one. Quick, get him! Oh, please get him. It missed as well. And now I've got no magic left. All right, let's get him now. Get him. Go! Yes, goodbye, bear. For some reason, he didn't want to chase me any further. Good news for us, bad news for him. Oh, he's got some uh, flesh and hefty beast bones. Yum, yum, yum. You know it. All right, and now we're at the uh, eastern cliff face. We're going to follow it all the way down east. And we're going to run into some baddies on this beach here. And some goodies to pick up 
before we go take on the giant archer. That's the plan. Let's go. Sticking to the east as much as we can, or to our left, so that we don't get the uh, archer shooting at us. I know, I was actually surprised I could access the map just then. Oh, I think he's shooting at me again, which means we won't be able to access the map. So good thing I already showed you where we're going. All right, see the red jellyfish there? That's where we're headed. Oh, there's one of the giant arrows right there. Check that out. All right. Keep on the move, though, if you don't want to get shot by one of them. All right, we're going to drop off onto the beach here. Should be safe down on this beach. I've never been shot while patrolling this beach. Anyway, I'm going to hop off my horse for this. Uh, normal repertoire, please. Uh, you get a blade, you get a blade, you get a blade, and you get a blade. And anyone out? Oh, I got spat at. Don't get poisoned. Am I a heavy load again? Why am I a heavy load again? Hang on a minute. I'm not ready. All right, you get one of these. Oh, you get two of these. Ow, ow. I wasn't ready. Ow. Did you just slap me with one of your tentacles? Did that really happen? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna heal. I'm too heavy, that's that's my excuse anyway. All right, and you? Oh, he got me. I'm not poisoned. You can't poison me. There we go. Take care of the jellyfish. Probably better than I did. And more importantly, grab Somba Smithing Stone, level two. Yum, yum, yum. And I think an arterial leaf. We came for the smithing stone. All right. Big guy. Look at him. There he is. He's aiming at me. Can he get me? Can he get me? He's, is he firing? He's firing. He can't get us from there. Okay. We are going to switch to our... Hang on. Get off the horse. Get off the horse. Watch him call it blade. We are going to get our scholar's armament, which means we need to refill our FP. And I'm going to put this in two hands. This is going to be our big giant golem crushing weapon. All right, back on the horse. And we're going to head up further on the left and see if we can't get out of his sight here. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. There we go, there we go. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Get out of here. All right, go over this side to our left, or to the left of the castle. All right. And we should be sort of in cover from his shots from here. And we're going to wait for him to fire. And then we're going to run right up between his legs. There we go. He's fired. Run right up behind him. Hop off the horse. Lock onto one of his feet. And do our special move on him. Left trigger. Right trigger. Left trigger. And right trigger. Oh, it was too... All right. Left trigger. Right trigger. He's done, done already. Now, sometimes if that works, you'll actually get him to uh, sort of fall over into a stunned mode. And that, if that happens, you walk up to his chest and do a crit right on his chest using RB or R1, whatever you want to call it. But like I said, he's very, very easy to take out. Let's just uh, heal up again. Could have even taken our uh, flask, used our flask. What have we got actually in our flask? Let me double check that. We've got negate damage received and temporarily raise stamina. I'm going to have a look. I can't remember the order of which we got the different things for that flask. But there we go. We took out the golem and we're going to go take on this castle. That's not in the next video. That's in this video. Let's go. Let's get to it. Inside we go. No one else guarding the entrance. And we've got our next checkpoint. And while I'm waiting for that to... Actually, I can't move, can I? That room in there, you'd think it would have goodies in there. Nothing in there. No enemies, no goodies. I'm not even going in there. Okay, I want to just have a look at our physics. We still don't have what I want, do we? When do, Which video do we get the good stuff? There's a really, really cool addition. Faith Knot. Oh, okay, so we could actually use the Faith Knot crystal. That'll give us a 10 plus 10 in faith for about three minutes, and that would allow us to use those incantations, but that poison one, for example, no good. We don't need it. Um, so what do we got? 
charged. Uh, that's charge attacks. Now we're not going to be using many of those right now. If we were going to do anything in terms of talismans, okay, flasks, flask charges. I'm going to do two and four. There's some tough sections in this castle, so we may need to. If I stuff up, we may need to heal. And four flasks for magic should be enough, or for FP, whatever you want to call it. What else do I want to do here? Oh, do we want to take fire bombs? Yes, we do. So we're going to go into item crafting. And we are going to craft two, at minimum, two fire bombs. Three if you can. I don't think I have enough crack pots, or did we buy some? Uh, no, I've only got... Okay, crack pots, though, are reusable. So let me see if we go into our... What do you call this? I'm going to get rid of my telescope just briefly. And we're going to pop in the fire bombs there. So I can only craft one. I was going to buy cracked pots off one of the merchants. Should we go and do that quickly? I think we will. I think we will since we can fast travel from here. Right where we started the video. That's why I went to the merchant at the start of the video. You know what I'll probably do? I'll probably edit it into the start of the video. And with the help of uh, Future Oz, we did buy a cracked pot back at that merchant. So we can, create, we can craft two fire pots. And I have put them in my pouch over there on the right hand side. You can see that they are going to be quickly accessible. So that's awesome. And once we've got our flasks where we want it, we've got a couple of fire bombs or whatever they, they're called. We're going to head up this elevator over here. I'm going to need my shield out for this next section, and we're going to need uh, either our darts, our throwing darts, our bone darts, or our crossbow. Much, much easier if you just use our throwing darts. And I'm going to send the elevator back down. In case you stuff this up or die, you're going to want to ride the elevator back up so it's safer and quicker just to leave it down at the bottom. All right, as we work, walk through this archway here, this entrance here, going to see a whole ton of enemies up on this uh, pile of rubble, let's call it. We've got some dogs over there, and if we head up those stairs, there's some more dogs up there. We are going to deal with these guys first. Yeah, no, we're going to leave them for a second. We're going to head up the stairs. I'm going off script here. And we're actually going to get our pebble out, so I didn't need to get my, <laughs> my shield out. And we're going to deal with this dog here. A couple of pebbles for him. Crouch back down. Watch out over there. A couple of pebbles for him. Crouch back down and just check the stairs in case someone heard that and is coming up. And grab the level 2 smithing stone here. And I don't think there's anything else up here, no. Okay. Okay. So the two dogs, but yeah, the main reason is the smithing stone. Now, we're going to take care of these other dogs over here on the left. And I want to head down this way so that I avoid those other enemies on the rubble. All right, let's give two pebbles for him. Two pebbles for him. Oh, that one missed. So just get ready to shoot another one. And I'm going to refill my flask already. Crouch. I don't think we've got any other dogs there. Okay, I'm going to leave. Oh, wait. There he is. There he is. Okay, third dog here. Take care of him. Okay, once you've got all five dogs taken care of, ignore those noises. That's actually a battle going on in a different part of the castle that we can't get to just yet. We're going to go back to the entrance. I'm going to get my shield out. And now I'm back on script. I'm going to pick any one of these guys, preferably the closest, Throw a dart at him and then get ready to guard counter. So we're going to lure him over here. Head back towards the entrance. Hold your shield up. Take the hit and then do a guard counter. Reminder, holding LB until you take the hit. Then press right trigger. And finish the enemy off as needed. Crouch again. Pick another guy from here. Probably this guy at the back. So that he doesn't see anything. And no matter how many you kill, the big guy won't come and get aggro. So just take them all out like this. Guard counters with our 100% damage negation shield. Gets the job done. 
Yeah, so the big guy there, don't don't shoot him with the bone dart. Don't take him on yet. I should have mentioned that right off the start. All right, next guy I'm going to take on this guy. Bone dart for you. And back away. Hold your shield up. And guard counter. Now, we could use our guard counter talisman just, just for this section. But you still kill them straight, you know, straight away anyway. We don't need it. We don't need to boost our guard counters for this interaction or for this part of the fight. Bone dart for this guy and back away. Hold up our shield and guard counter. Even if he does try and do that second move. I've seen that happen a couple of times. We still get the, uh, get the attack in in time. All right, these two guys can be hard to aim at with our bone dart. Sometimes you end up hitting the second guy. It does not matter. See, it did it again. That's happened a lot to me, but it doesn't matter. Whichever one you hit comes after you. Oh, oh I was locked onto the wrong one. My bad, my bad. I was still locked onto the wrong one then, guys. Not my fault. Can I blame Captain Fumblefingers for that? I don't know. I don't know if that really was a Fumblefingers or just... The wrong lock on that I forgot to change. All right. Bone dart for you this time. Back away. Do a proper guard counter this time. And finish him off. All right. Now, we have a couple more of the smaller guys over the back there, but instead of worrying about them... We're going to take out the big guy next. We're going to get out our, our staff. We're going to get our magic glint blade ready. And we're going to get nice and close to this guy. And we're going to send off... Uh, how many is it? Five? Can't remember how many glint blades to send off. Let's, let's do five. Five glint blades. And then we're going to back away and get ready for a guard counter in case these five don't finish him off. That's the plan. Let's go. One, two, three... Four and five. Change over to my shield. Okay, but they all finished in my five. Was the perfect amount. We took care of him. I'm gonna head over. You know what? I've never. I don't remember if there's anything behind here. I can hear noises, but I think again that's just stuff coming from the other side of the castle. We can get these uh, butterflies here. Uh, but we're going to be mindful of these other enemies over the other side here. Oh, and I can now go and get the loot off the dog that dropped it over here. Beast bones. Okay. Let's just start with this guy. Let's give him and be careful of Mr. Pumpkinhead over there, okay? Bone dart for you. Get ready for a guard counter. Over here, mate. Come get me. Normal guard counter. There should be another guy there. Oh, get the butterflies. I'm going to use my flask just in case we get a free refill. Bone dart for you. Guard counter for him. And finish him off. Okay, so this whole area should be cleared except for the uh, Mr. Pumpkinhead dude over there. Okay, so Mr. Pumpkinhead, we are going to use Scholar's Armament on our Bloodhound's Fang. We're going to hold it in two hands and we are going to get sneaky and sneak up behind Mr. Pumpkinhead. Now, a backstab doesn't always work, but we're going to try for it. And if it doesn't, even if it does work... Hang on one second. Thought I heard something. Even if it does work, our next move does or doesn't work. Our next move will be left trigger, right trigger. So the Bloodhound's finesse followed by the uppercut type move. All right, let's do it. Try the back snap, backstab. Didn't work. Finesse, uppercut, and he's done. Okay, over here on the right hand side. Oh, he heard. Let's just get our... Sh no, you know what? Ow, ow, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. 
Get it back in two hands! Oh boy, that was close. Okay. Normally he doesn't hear that, guys, and you get to go do a backstab on him. Um, I guess what you could have done to avoid taking damage like I did was just get your shield out and do a proper uh, guard counter on him if he does come over. I've never had him do that on me, ever. So normally what we do is go over here and just do a uh, backstab on him. That ladder over here, this is like a shortcut. Taking that ladder takes you up to another section that we're actually going to get to later, but we don't want to take a shortcut. We want to clear everything out. And over on the other side, opposite the ladder, we are going to get a smithing stone. My memory serves. Yep, level one smithing stone. Okay, now we need to go up the rubble. Grab the loot up here. Just some fire grease. Okay, wait a minute. I have not fixed my roll. Wait, wait, wait. Equipment. Why am I heavy load again? Oh, is it this stuff? No. Do we need to stay shirtless still? Oh, I know why. We don't have this talisman on. Why have we not got that talisman on? Did I take it off in the previous video? Oh, well. It really doesn't matter. We haven't... It hasn't cost us anything at the moment. And let's uh, heal as well. Okay, we're back to how things should be. I've only got two FP flasks left, though. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, we don't really need to sneak just yet. Uh, let me just double check my notes. Where are we up to? Don't think we need to worry inside here. I don't think anyone's in here. Uh, we do have this chest. This chest isn't in my notes. Wait, what's in the chest? How did I not put this in my notes? Okay, we got the claymore. That's a really cool sword, actually. I do did get that in my practice runs. I must have forgotten to put it in my notes. Okay. Well... Get the claymore. At least I didn't forget it in the main uh, walkthrough. It's good to forget it in my notes as long as I don't forget it here now. No enemies in here, but there are some of the normal guys out there. What I'm going to try and do is, if we can, from here. Yes, we can. We're going to do a lure and back up the stairs a bit. So we're on a flat surface and guard counter. There we go. Take care of him. Now, I can't remember how many are outside. I know I lured because there's more than one. Yeah, there's another. At least two, isn't there? Okay, I'm going to try and do exactly the same thing on this guy. There we go. Back up the stairs. Make sure you lock onto him as he comes back up. Guard counter. Excellent. All right. Now, as long as there's only one more out here. Yeah, normal soldier type dude. Let's take care of him with a backstab. Follow that up with just a normal attack. And another one. There we go. You're done. Okay, now, uh, up at the ladder. Up the ladder we go. Now, up here, you're going to see uh, some of those normal soldiers taking on... I have no idea what those uh, other things we've been taking on are actually called, but I think I've told you before I call them monkey men because they remind me of monkeys. And they're going to be fighting each other, and what we're going to do is sit here and just watch what happens and try not... To get involved because we get we get our runes no matter who dies anyway and then whoever does win the fight will take them on after this so we're going to stay here in cover now that guy has not seen us that's good who's gonna win put your bets in guys if you're a betting person It's not looking good for the soldiers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. 
Okay, someone just died. A soldier died on our left. A soldier died on our right. But now we've still got sort of... What is it? Even numbers? Now, nah. Another soldier dead. That soldier's about to be outnumbered. Alright, there we go. The soldiers are done for. I'm just going to watch where these guys sort of end up. Okay. Where's he going? Let's lock onto him and just do a guard counter on him. And of course, I did check the other guy was not looking this way. Check your back though, just in case. No, still not looking this way. Back in a sneak mode. Check your corner on the left here, just in case. And when you're safe, head over here, do a backstab. If he's facing you, do a guard counter, easy peasy. Alright, there's another two over here. One is looking at us, so we'll do a guard counter on him. As soon as we've got his attention. Come on, mate. Oh, I swatted him out of the air. He missed me with his uh, jump attack. So I still pressed right trigger. Oh, an old mate heard it, so we'll do a guard counter on him as well. Normal guard counter for you, buddy. And they were guarding a cool bit of loot. If we head up here, well, I don't know how cool it is, but it's a weapon. It is the steel wire torch. Yeah, calling it cool was probably a stretch. <laughs> All right, and once we've got that, nothing else to worry about up here. We can go up the ladder, which is in this corner over here. All right, now I do want to crouch a little bit here. Uh, I don't think there's anything at the end here. I'm just going to double check. Uh, my uh, notes not having that chest in it have worried me. Maybe I was really tired when I made these notes, uh, which was the other day. That's why I'm, it's not as fresh in my memory. Now, when we drop down here, sometimes that guy up there on the bridge or one of those two guys... Hears us and comes running, so be ready to do a guard counter. Let's just drop down. Yeah, see, here he comes. Do a guard counter for him. Oh, something. Okay, we still got him. Be ready in case anyone heard that. Okay, now this ladder here, this is where the shortcut comes up. That's uh, down there is where we took on the pumpkin head and that takes us back to our last um checkpoint our last side of grace now the fact that we've only got two charges left of cerulean tears that should be enough um the other option would be if you're feeling like you don't have any health left or any fp left is to go down the ladder and run all the way back to the elevator down the elevator and use the side of grace and then come back at, up the elevator you can actually sneak right past everyone except for that guy that has his back to us in the alley there. You can, uh, But you can still run past him and just come up this ladder. The only problem then is if you come up this ladder, you'll take... This guy will get triggered again. You'll do a guard counter here, but you'll also have to watch for that guy following you up the ladder. So if you need to go to the side of grace, you do that. And if not, come back here. And we're going to head up these stairs... Okay, and we're going to make sure we've got Pebble ready in our staff. But before we worry about that, we're going to lure this guy. Bone dart for him. I need to get a bit closer. Bone dart for him. Lure him over here. Make sure you do guard counters on a flat surface as well. I find sometimes you can miss if you're higher or lower. Your guard counter can miss and it really stuffs things up. All right, staff out. Pebble ready. If you need to fill, refill your FP, do that. Oh, wait. How many are there going to be? Uh, there should be two of these guys flying at us. I'm going to need to refill my FP, but I'm going to wait until I shoot two at this guy. I wasn't close enough. Okay, refill my FP. Get a little bit closer. Shoot two at him. And the other one's coming. Oh, my God. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? I accidentally turned around. And if he's not finished by two of them, there we go. He dropped a misbegotten short bow. Oh, I've never had them drop that before. That will not be part of the walkthrough because we can't guarantee that it drops there. So, but that's uh, kind of cool if you did get it. All right, uh, double checking the notes. We pick up the loot halfway across the bridge. Can't remember what it was. It's golden rune, that's why it says loot. Now we go up the stairs. And there'll be some more loot up here. Wait, is that guy? Oh, that's the guy we took out already. That's fine. Get my shield. Have your shield ready just in case. We're going to go that way in a second. But first, we're going to go over here. I thought there was some other loot up here. Hang on a minute. Now, you can drop down to a side of grace down there, but you'll miss out on some other stuff. So we're not going to do that. I thought there was some loot. Did I miss any? And you can go down that ladder, but you'll also miss some other stuff because we are going to go through here. Maybe I'll just do that. Just trying to get my way through here. Find this ladder here and head down. Uh, you got to stand up to head down, dude. Down we go. Now, if you've got a lot of FP, I recommend just using that. Um, no, don't worry about that way. Don't have a lot of FP. Okay, let, let these guys sort it out. Normally, that soldier's already dead when I come up here, so... Alright, let's see if I can get this guy's uh, attention. Nope, he moved. Stop moving! There we go. Come get me. So I'm doing a lure with the bone darts and a guard counter. Finish him off. Grab the loot here. Oh. Hold still. Okay. Probably wasted some of my uh, bone darts there. Oh, he's coming. Guard counter for you. Turn around though, the flying guy. We're gonna see if we can do a guard counter for him as well. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to use my FP here, guys. Oh, that was going to hit you. Look. I should just shoot him with a pebble. Alright, here we go. I'm going to shoot him with a pebble. Just don't let him hit you with his little uh, crossbow. There we go. Oh, it still didn't finish him. Another pebble for you. Okay, back to my shield. Okay, do you guys remember meeting that girl on the side of the road... I think her name was Irina or something similar. Something like that anyway. And she asked, uh, she told us about her dad that wouldn't leave the castle. And she gave us a letter to give him a couple of videos ago. Actually, it's probably three or four videos ago. Uh, but we've got that letter with us. And we're going to head up here. And we're going to find one man sitting all by his lonesome. Let's have a chat. Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. Dude, you can't see my face. Warden of this castle, as ordained... Edgar! Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn. Castle Morn. That's how you say it. Take this by way of apology. He gave us a sacrificial twig as an apology, uh, and we are going to deliver Irina's letter. From Irina. Irina. I mean your dad. That's what I said, right? Can't leave yet. Even if 
the castle should fall. As commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Okay, and we'll talk to him again just to make sure. That her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. Once he's fulfilled his duty. Okay, now he's repeating himself. So we've got through all his dialogue. Now just remember him. I won't come back to him um, at the end of this video. Probably at the start of the next video. We'll come back and find Edgar and report that everything has been taken care of here at the castle. Uh, can I hop down here or should I go the proper way? I've never tried this. Uh, no, we'll go down here. <laughs> the amount of time it took me to decide, I could have already come around here. Oh, well. Alright, all the way back down here and up the ladder that we came down a moment ago. There should be nothing actually down this way. I'm sure I checked it in the practice run. Yep, nah, we're all good. Up the ladder. Trust your notes, Oz. You wouldn't have made two mistakes. Well, you probably made heaps more mistakes, but uh, maybe none that big. All right. Okay, and once we come up that ladder, we go across and down another ladder. All right, sneak mode. Got enough FP still remaining. Okay, good, good, good. Remember our Grand Slam special move with our Morning Star? We used an Ash of War to get that. There is an enemy, not there, hiding behind these barrels. You can just see the top of his head. We are going to do a slam just to... Uh, I can't get, my, uh, can't get a lock on onto him. So we're going to do a slam, because otherwise he's going to try and surprise us. And then attack. And attack. Oh, bloody hell. That didn't work. All right, lock onto him. Guard counter. i got no stamina. Hang on, now I can guard counter. There we go. Finish him off. And use our final flask here. We're near a side of grace, so we're, we're doing all right. And now we can sneak up on this guy and take care of him. Yeah, if you do that um, slam right, you get him um, startled or you get him in a crit situation. Smithing stone level 2 there. My notes only said level 1. What are you doing? Nah, just kidding. Uh, okay. Now we need to drop to the next section. Uh, let me remember. I hate doing my practice runs too long before my... Oh yeah, here it is. Um my actual run here. Is this it? No, we don't want to go down there. We do not want to go down there. Let me try and remember where it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I do remember. Yeah, as I was just trying to say just then, I hate doing my practice runs um, too far before I actually record these episodes, but um, I got stuck doing something else and I couldn't record this straight after my practice run. So, do apologize if this one is a little bit more uh, me trying to remember stuff. Anyway, back up the ladder. And we're going to actually go to that side of grace I showed you earlier. Uh, is it over the back here? Yes, we can drop down to this one now. You beauty. Activate the side of grace. And we can rest at it. Doesn't matter if all those other enemies respawn or reset. And if we can, we are going to level up later. We were going to try, but I suppose it doesn't hurt to level up now if we can and get rid of some of our runes. Uh, so hang on, where were we? Dexterity, we got to 24. Intelligence, we got to 30. Mind, we were going to get to 20 next. According to my notes, let's put a point into mind. There you go. Spoiler spoiler alert, unless I find something else in my uh, practice runs. 
to change my mind about where we're spending our points. Okay, and from here, we're going to drop down here. So what's this to the southwest? Drop again. And wait, did I say south? Yeah, it was southwest, wasn't it? Okay, and then look over the side on our left here. And we're going to drop to this little uh, ledge down here. And grab the stone sword key from there. Okay, the boss fight that we're heading to is all the way down there. But not yet, not yet. Well, that's a jellyfish. I was like, what is that down there? Okay, we're going to hop down here. We are going to ignore those blobs. Hang on, I'm just checking back here because I can't remember. Checking. Um, yeah, we're going to ignore those blob enemies in there. They are a pain in the butt. They, they have a lot of HP. They're just a pain in the butt. But what we're not going to ignore is those guys. Um, how's our bone dart situation going? Uh, we can make some more. Let's make some more. If you need some more, make some more. I'm checking where it says created items, number held. I don't want to go over 40, so 36 will do. And we've got our shield ready. We're going to lock onto this guy, and we're going to lure him over here. Hoping that this doesn't set off those blobs, actually. I haven't tested this. Finish him off. Turn around just to make sure. Back in a sneak mode. Did you drop anything? No. No. We should probably be able to do sneak attacks on some of these guys. Uh, but first, before we worry about those, I just wanted to get rid of that guy near this door. We're going to head inside here. And we should be able to get a sneak attack in here on this guy. So do that. And then finish him off. Back into sneak mode. Uh, now, 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 now. We're going to talk to this ghost. I don't think this really matters for anything, but see what he's got to say. You're of noble blood, are ya? Please help me. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Uh, dude, it's too late, buddy. I think it is too late. Is there any evidence that he actually got eaten? Well, he was eating someone, wasn't he? Maybe that's what happened to old mate here. Bad luck, buddy. Now, look up there. See that? Oh, don't fall. Do not fall. As soon as we take this loot, that thing's going to fall. We are going to run the heck out of here. We're not fighting the blob thing. Pick up the loot and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I think it was actually just standing where the loot is does that. So maybe don't hang around there for as long as I did. I nearly... Nearly stuffed it up. Alright, sneak attack on him. Now, keep an eye on further down the path. Sneak That blob might come up behind us as well. So just be careful. Another sneak attack here. And if he falls off, that's even better. He is dead. Oh, this guy's coming. He gets some pebbles. And a charge attack. Out. Told you they suck. <laughs> Alright, he got me. Just check out. Oh, I got a smithing stone off him. That is random though. Less so since uh, patch 1.03, eh? Alright, let's continue on. Oh yeah, big guy. There's a big guy. Good thing we've got our staff out. We are going to get our magic glint blade ready. And when we get close enough. If he, is he going to turn around? Yeah, he's turning around. We're going to go for five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have enough for five. Get your shield out. All right. What I'm going to do is attempt a guard counter or I'm going to roll past him depending on what move he does. There we go. We roll past him. Get behind him. Yeah, if he was going to just do a normal swing at me, we had our shield ready to go. 
Even better would have been the five glint blades because they would have finished him off, guys. Um, but yeah, if he does come at you like that, get your shield ready. If he just does a normal swing at you, do a uh, guard counter. If he does some slow, um, silly thing that he did, just roll past him, turn around, and get him in the back. All right, easy peasy. And now... Okay, no more enemies up the stairs. We are going to go up the ladder in just a second. Grab some butterflies. And up we go. And we're heading up here just for a talisman in this chest, I believe. The Twin Blade Talisman. Let's have a... Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Let's have a quick look at it. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. So, if we were doing this... One, two... Oh, no, it doesn't count if you hit the wall like that. But see where you do a combo and that final move of the combo, it enhances the damage on that final move. I've never really used it. I don't find it that helpful. All right, back down the ladder. All right, smithing stone is next on our list of things to get. Okay, on the right here of the bridge, as we drop away, we're going to jump on to this rooftop here. I'm going to fill up my FP. I'm not going to heal, though. No, not yet. Okay, next thing I want to do, I want to get down there. Uh, I can hear one of those dung beetles, but there's not one in my notes. It probably means it's only a healing... Hang on, I just want to remember where to drop down here. It must be off the front. I remember it being off near this tree. All right, a bit to the right of the tree. Drop. You'll be right. You'll be right. No fall damage. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember what kind of dung beetle we've got here, but I do remember smithing stone. Right. No, nope, that's not the smithing stone. Uh oh. Where's the smithing stone? All right, let's... Oh, it is just a healing one. Let's see if we can uh, sneak up on him. Charge attack. Normal attack. I should have healed before I did that, guys. Heal before you do that, if you're watching. <laughs> heal before you do that, if you need to heal. Maybe you don't need to heal. All right, we're going to jump across to there by running and jump. Still no full damage. Good. And off the side here. Uh oh, I feel like I've missed a smithing stone, guys. Where is the smithing stone I wanted? We do not want to get all the way down there. Oh, wait. No, it is inside, isn't it? Okay, don't worry, guys. Don't listen to me. It is inside. Okay, inside here. Line up with that plank in the middle. We do not want to drop down to the other the other boss area yet. Drop down to the plank in the middle. So line it up and drop. Turn around. That's where the smithing stone is. Okay. Smithing stone level two. Now we want to line up with the plank directly below us in the middle going the opposite direction. And this is why we brought those firebombs or crafted firebombs, guys. Okay, drop on to this plank. All right, now, lock on to preferably the guy that's not moving in the corner there. It's hard for me to show you him. See that monkey man looking dude? He's got a rat patrolling around to him and from him. And another rat there in the middle. We won't worry about that rat, but we're going to try and get two enemies with one firebomb here. Get your firebomb ready. When you see that rat that's off to my right, head over towards this guy or the other rat down the bottom. They do go close to this guy. We're going to throw a firebomb. Oh, come on, rat. Oh, here we go. That rat will do. Two for one is what we're looking for. Go. Make sure you don't fall off the, uh, whatchamacallit. There we go. We've got two for one. Now we're going to wait for this other rat. The other option is, with this 
next rat, guys. Here we go. Let's just see if I can get him with from here. There we go. Now, have your pebble ready. Because I do believe there is more enemies in here. So we're going to drop and get ready to lock on and shoot some pebbles. Let's go. Rat, have a pebble. Oh my god, how did he do that? Alright, and another rat gets two pebbles. Okay, if you need to heal like me, make sure you do. That rat, that first pebble missed. I can't believe it. Recording curse, yet again. Recording curse, shield out just in case. And we get a whip, a new weapon, the whip. Yeah, yay! No, I don't. we don't care. Hey, I forgot to mention, we're getting an achievement in this video too. How exciting is that? I'm pretty exciting. Um, so we got the whip, and we're going to head outside, and we're going to get our next checkpoint around to our left. No enemies to worry about. Head around to the left, and... Activate the side of grace. Alright, and once we're here, if you can level up, make sure you level up. Spend as many runes as you've got. I've only got 1,800. We are about to do a boss fight. That's how many runes I'll be risking here at this boss fight. Alright, now that we've done that, um, I've also made sure it is daytime, guys. Now, we're going to go straight for the boss fight. I've got two healing flasks and four uh, FP flasks. And we've got our flask of wondrous physic. Just a reminder what's actually in that. And I'm only doing this and forgetting, guys, because I've been playing way further ahead and I've got different things. Okay, so we've got the bubble tear, which I do love. Uh, and we've got our max stamina... There's nothing else I would put in it, I don't believe. If we go into inventory, I can go across to here to see. Uh, HP, no. We're not going to be taking damage, are we? Is this going to be a no damage run again? Let's find out in just a second. Uh, we don't need faith for this, and we don't need charged attacks for this. No, so we've got our best option for now. Okay, I'll go through what we're going to do. We're going to... Uh, See that bridge there? We're going to drop off to the left-hand side of the bridge, and we're going to run over to that building that we can see in the distance now, and we're going to enter the boss fight. Once we get inside, we are going to unleash... Oh, unleash the wolves, not the jellyfish. I want to unleash the wolves. I don't know why. I just like the wolves, guys. So you can unleash your favorite spirit ashes or whatever they're called. I like the wolves. We'll get some cooler ones later. I do like the jellyfish as well. These ones I find really slow and a pain in the butt. Um, and these two I've been mucking around with off camera, but I find uh, the wolves are a lot faster and more distracting. And that's what we're using the wolves for. To keep the enemy distracted so that we can unleash our magic glint blades. So that's what we're going to have ready in our staff. We've got the magic glint blade ready. Okay, when we get to the door, we're going to take the, the wondrous physic. We're going to go through the door and unleash the wolves. Then we are going to, if needed, we're going to fill up our Cerulean Tears or our FP. And once the wolves have the boss distracted, we are going to unleash as many Glint Blades as we can. You guys know the drill by now. That's what the... the blah, 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 blah. Jeez, speak about Captain Fumblefingers. That was Captain Fumblemouth. Uh, that's the plan. You guys know it. Let's do it. Go for a run. Let's go. Get to the bridge. Drop off to the left. Don't worry about the jellyfish. Hang on, I didn't say that in the plan. That's not the plan. Anyway, don't worry about the jellyfish. Run straight to the boss door. At the boss door. Take our physic. Yum, yum, yum. Swap over to wolves. Go through the door. Unleash the wolves as soon as we can. Swap over to FP flask. Let's just unleash two Glint Blades while we're here. Or one. Then fill up our flask and get the wolves to do their thing as I run off over here. Hey, hey, hey. Wolves, do your thing. I'm running over here. Ah, uh, missed me. No, he didn't miss No, he did miss me. No, he didn't. He got the bubble. He got the bubble. All right. Wolves are doing their thing finally. Okay, as many Glint Blades as we can. Fill our FP up. Get away from the boss. 
Wolves, get him. Wolves, get him. There we go. There we go. And a couple more of these and we'll be done. And we'll get an achievement. Uh-oh. -uh. Missed me. Ha-ha. Uh -uh. Couple more of these. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he got me. He nearly killed me too. I'm just going to heal. <laughs> He'll be nearly done in a second. All right. Where is he? Uh, I can't get him from here. All right. Get him. Couple more. We didn't do a no damage run. It's disappointed me. And I need to fill up these. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. Pretty simple. Except for him getting me. There's our achievement. Leona, Leonine Misbegotten. Leonine Nanina. Le I don't know how to say it as usual. But we got the Crafted Blade Greatsword, which we probably can't use. Now, in all my practice runs... Uh, let me know in the comments down below, though, guys. How was taking down that boss? Pretty simple. Does our Wolves and Magic Glint Blade method work well for you? Let me know if you're enjoying it. In all my practice runs, this grace wouldn't work. But look at this. It works from back here. I was trying it from here. Won't work. From back here. Will work. Okay, I never figured that out in my practice runs. And it's not part of the script. Should we stick to the script? Uh... We probably should. You know what? We'll just touch it anyway. But we're going to go back to the previous previous checkpoint. We're going to just fast travel back to beside the Rampart Jail. Okay, and... Do, 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 do. What do we want to do? We want... We've got two enemies on the other side of this bridge... Now, let me just see exactly which one we're going to get first. Okay, that's the big guy. That's the little guy. Big guy. You can have five magic glint blades. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Swap over to your shield. Back away. Don't fall off the bridge. Yeah, there we go. That did him in. That's what you get, big fella. All right, sleeping guy over here. Charge attack. Normal attack. Normal attack. Dead. Old fangy dropped. And what do we get here? Throwing... No, throwing dagger. That's not what I want. Okay, from the bridge. Staff out. Let's just clear the area here. Get some pebbles for the jellyfish. Two for you. Three for you, maybe. Oh, shoot. Fill up your uh, FP. Don't get hit by that. And give him three. Okay, who's next? They're hiding. They're hiding. They're too smart. You. Three for you. You. Three for you. Oh, that one missed. Try again. There we go. If these guys move, we'll be able to get them. But if they don't... Yeah, that should be enough. That should work. No, he's moved again, has he? No. Here we go. One, two, three. There we go. I think there's still another one underneath, but we'll worry about him when we get down. There's two underneath. Let's fill our FP. Drop down. Lock onto this one. Give him three. There we go. Turn around. Three for this one. There we go. What are you dropping? What are you dropping? And there may or may not be another one around here. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's another two. We don't have to take them out. In fact, I'm not even going to bother. What we're doing... No. Oh, I can't get my horse. Okay, we can't get our horse. That's fine. We are going to head around the back here. Ignore the gel. No, well, how many runes do we get? It's probably not even worth it. Let me see. One, two, three. 16 runes. Yeah, not worth it. Unless you dropped something. Nope. Head around the back. And this is what we came for. A somber smithing stone around the back there. And don't do what I just did uh, in between edits just there. Do not walk off the edge into the water and die. You do not need to go back to this grace because we already unlocked it. We're going to get ready for the start of the next video by heading back to the Castle Morn Lift. 
Because we need to go back and see Edgar. And that is what we're going to do in the next video. In the next video, there will also be not one, but two boss fights, guys. Two boss fights in the next video, as long as things stick to script. Who knows? You'll have to find out in the next video, guys. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. I love having this channel, guys. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I'm actually addicted to it. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. It's the last thing I do before I go to sleep. So thank you so much for all the support. You really are a bunch of bloody legends, especially you patrons and members. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.